Energy is something we can't live without, and therefore batteries have always been in demand. Batteries are needed when we need to run something that can't easily be plugged in, and the quest for a better battery is being researched in labs throughout the world. There has always been fierce competition between Tesla and its opponents, and Elon Musk has always been at the forefront of that battery war. He is quite fond of teasing investors and competitors with the promise of a battery day that will arrive soon. Imagine a future in which you could go an entire day without needing to recharge your phone's battery. Imagine your phone's battery lasting for a week, a month, a year, or let's say for a very long time. Imagine that world existing right now. That is the Nuclear Diamond Battery's latest offer, and it's a game changer. What are the chances of this happening? Is it going to help humanity in any way? Join us for a look at Elon Musk's new nuclear diamond battery that changes everything. Nuclear waste is radioactive waste from nuclear power plants that people do not want to be kept near their place of living or even moved through their communities. This terrible substance is toxic and harmful, takes thousands of years to decompose completely, and yet we keep producing it. Inventors at San Francisco-based Nano Diamond Battery NDB, claim their high-powered diamond-based Alpha Beta Neutron Voltaic Battery can provide lifelong and green energy to electronic gadgets, which might change the game. They claim to have created a nuclear waste-derived self-powered battery with a life expectancy of 28,000 years, making it ideal for use in electric vehicles and even in your iPhones. The battery is constructed of two types of nanodiamonds and produces its own charge rather than storing energy generated elsewhere, making it almost crash-proof if used in cars or other moving things. According to the manufacturers, they claim their battery emits less radiation than a human being, making it safe. Imagine being able to run your insulin pump or pacemaker for the rest of your life on a single battery. It may even power a rover to collect Martian regolith samples for decades on end without the need for human intervention. These are very lofty objectives, so is it possible that NDB's big claims will come to fruition? Let's have a peek, shall we? Layers of incredibly small paneled nanodiamonds are what is used by NDB to construct its nanodiamond battery. Electronic equipment benefits greatly from the excellent heat conductivity of diamonds. According to a study by the University of Houston's College of Engineering, they are the best-known natural heat conductor, and they are three to four times more efficient than copper or silver. Chemical vapor deposition, a procedure in which gases at extremely high temperatures compel carbon to crystallize on a substrate material, is used by scientists to produce these tiny, microscopic diamonds. According to NDB, this method causes a cost barrier because the unique diamonds are energy-intensive and expensive to produce. Since these are boron-doped diamonds, the answer is obvious. That technique yields diamonds with a blue tint and a higher conductivity than the typical diamond. Although it is possible to find naturally occurring blue diamonds, they are much more difficult to find and more expensive than synthetic blue diamonds. Because of the small amounts of boron in their carbon structure, the diamonds in NDB's batteries have a lovely blue tint. These blue diamonds are synthetic, yet they seem like actually blue diamonds, which are among the rarest jewels on the planet. They are formed in the Earth's lower mantle, which is between 410 and 1,680 miles below the surface, according to a study published in Nature in August 2018. There are only three diamond mines worldwide that produce blue diamonds, which explains their high price. $15,700 for a 0.03 carat dark blue diamond and $75,000 for a 0.25 carat light blue diamond. After obtaining nano diamonds, NDB blends them with radioactive isotopes derived from nuclear waste. The uranium and plutonium they use are radioactive isotopes, and it's likely they got them from nuclear power plant waste. These diamonds are so efficient at transferring heat away from radioactively decaying isotopes that they actually generate electricity. This energy is deposited on the NDB transducer by the decay sources and converted to electrical energy by the NDB transducer, says Nima Golsharifi, CEO of the company. NDB intends to produce batteries in a variety of common and unique sizes, including AA, AAA, 18650, and 2170, that feature several stacked diamond layers, a small circuit board, and a supercapacitor for collecting, storing, and discharging energy. Longevity is the goal, and it seems that would be achieved with this battery. According to NDB's estimates, a battery could last 28,000 years in a low-power application such as a satellite sensor. 
They expect a usable life of 90 years as a car battery, far longer than any single vehicle will last. The company believes that one battery might potentially power many sets of wheels. According to NDB, the batteries could even be beneficial for spacecraft that need to run for long periods without assistance. Satellites, for example, are an example. These low-power space applications are part of NDB's assertion that the battery lasts 28,000 years. When it was launched in September 1977, NASA's Voyager space mission employed three multi-hundred-watt radioisotope thermoelectric generators MHWRTGs, to power its instruments to research the solar system's outer regions. Starting at 158 watts, the output of each generator is less than the amount of energy needed to run a household light fixture for a year. These diamond battery cells can still power Earth-based electronics with higher energy demands, such as LED displays on tablets and mobile phones, if enough of them are coupled. You may be asking what the snag is in this deal. Is there a diamond battery out there that consumes nuclear waste, lasts hundreds of years, and only needs the tiniest diamond layers? Unfortunately, things are a little more involved than that. First, because each battery cell can only provide so much power, scientists must combine these massive amounts to run enormous gadgets on a regular basis, which raises both the cost and the complexity significantly. And there's also the matter of deterioration. Scientists inject radioactive waste into diamond cells, causing a natural structural defect that, statistically speaking, will inevitably collapse in some cells over time. A small number of nanodiamond batteries may malfunction or be thrown away when they become commercially available in future gadgets. The diamond battery is still a commendable endeavor despite this. Long-term usage devices like hearing aids and pacemakers could benefit from this technology if these concerns can be overcome. In the case of a youngster who is fitted with a hearing aid or an old person who has a pacemaker, people should not have to undergo the potentially upsetting surgery more than once. And consider how it would seem on a smartphone like the iPhone. It would recharge your battery from zero to full five times an hour with the same size battery. Imagine how convenient that would be. A smartwatch will be NDB's first commercial product slated to be released this year. A watch with a single battery that you can hand down for generations without having to buy a new one seems like a treasure and a potential heirloom, don't you think? With Tesla, Elon Musk aspires to build a device that will both revolutionize the way we drive and make him a ton of money in the process. You'll be able to buy cars with ranges of 400 to 500 miles, 640 to 800 kilometers or more in the near future because of this. Second, larger batteries charge faster, allowing you to gain up to 300 miles of range in as little as 10 minutes of charging time for larger batteries. The amount of time it takes to fill a car's tank with gas or diesel is comparable to that period. As a result, Elon Musk's vision of a nuclear diamond battery will get a boost from this new technology. We can't decarbonize our economy if we don't have access to better batteries that are cheaper and more efficient. As soon as a low-power commercial version is available, NDB expects a high-power version to follow in around five years. If everything goes according to plan, NDB's technology might provide low-cost, long-term energy to the world's gadgets and to automobiles. According to the company, they can power satellites and locomotives at the nanoscale. They expect their batteries to be competitively priced compared to current batteries, including lithium-ion, and perhaps much cheaper once they're being made at scale. Nuclear waste owners may even pay the company to take their poisonous problem off of their hands. One company's trash is another company's treasure. NDB, on the other hand, keeps a tight lid on the specifics of the Nano Diamond battery, including its power density. Moreover, there are no video demonstrations of the technique at this time. NDB's upcoming smartwatch will tell us a lot about the viability of this radioactive diamond battery technology and other applications. Until then, we'll just have to wait. How do you feel about the new nuclear diamond battery? What do you think the chances are? Do you believe it has the potential to transform everything? We'd love to know what you think in the comments section below.